What is going on YouTube? It is currently the next day and uh, today is just going to be me again. Uh, my brothers just had to go fishing without me this morning. Made a video out of that. You guys will see it probably. But uh, today, as I said before, or should I said, as I said as yesterday or a couple minutes ago for some of you guys, we'll be going kayak fishing. And uh, today I actually plan on going upriver and fishing for some smallies. going to be throwing tubes, net rigs, and maybe a uh, swim jig or a power bait slash rage tail like a jig uh, our main target is just mollies maybe we'll catch a pike here or there maybe possibly a catfish if we're lucky or something you would want to call it but uh yeah I'm not sure what to expect waters are a little flooded but uh, I'm going upstream hitting up some spots here or there and then moving downstream and then just fishing spots anchoring taking a couple casts not sure what to expect. Not very much of, a, not a very good fisherman. But uh, yeah, we just guys have to stay tuned and find out if we catch anything or not. So uh, recently, my brother bought a new machine, right? It's a workout machine. Yeah, he's trying to get out in shape, right? You want me to show you guys what this machine is used for? Okay, you sit on it, right? And uh, they're resisting, right? So what you gotta do is, oh, here. Okay, Joe, if you're here, I'll. Right. Oh. Joe, if you're here with us, I'll show you how you use this machine. It's your favorite, Joe, if you're watching this. But, uh, yeah. Stay tuned, guys. See you guys on the water. see right here that's where I'll be fishing for some reason there's a lot of duckweed water looks pretty calm but it's kind of high oh your water is calm over here yeah maybe I'll roll up over here oh it's looking really really good to be honest this is the lowest I've ever seen in water today's gonna be good my brother's gonna regret not coming with You guys guys saw all that. But anyway, it's fine. I'll be the one that did it in this video, so. I don't like it matters too much. We're gonna catch a small one. Oh snap. Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. Too big, Dustin. Almost got hooked that, uh, almost hooked that car. <laughs> I mean, obviously, small is like hanging out on rocks, but. Because uh, that's where the crayfish and gobies are, but I don't know. It still doesn't really make sense why uh, they weren't in there in that part, you know. Uh, 
Uh, we're now what we're doing is uh, we're just going back upstream. So I don't know. Might make a couple casts here and there just because it's this time we're using the bait to see right Not the squad yet, but let me try this try pushing the spot weird really quick. Let's see if I get anything. All I can say is that there is a lot of trees in here, but yet no fish on them. I mean, that's how our rivers are, so that's a pretty surprise, I guess. Yeah, in this river, there's supposed to be a big pike. I don't know, we'll see though. Although, if there is a big pike, uh, I'm gonna get cut off for sure, because I will not have a middle leader on. See if anything's off that stone. Oh, that's a fish. Yep, that's a fish. What is it? Oh, I think that's a pike. Oh, jeez. Oh, he popped off. That thing was fighting hecka hard. Jeez. That was definitely a big pike or something. Oh, I lost pressure on him. Came off that stump. Come on, dude. First fish hooked up. It was big. No way, that was a small... Yeah, it did not feel like a small one. I don't know, whatever it was, big. That was insane. Oh, it could have been a small one, actually. Because, uh, if that was a pike, it probably would have tore my thing up. Oh, such a noob. That could have been a PB, man. Oh. That's right, it should be able to get more. Only thing is, there's just not as nice structure. See, this is the kind of fishing I like doing. Exploring. And then catching big fish too. Oh, no, that's not fish. Basically, just slow reeling it and then jigged it up and down. Once or twice, and boom. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see if we can get another bite though. Let's see if anything will come out of that deep stuff. I highly doubt it. Uh, I didn't get oh, That's fish. That's fish for sure. Oh, that's a small one. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a pike. Oh, it's a small one. Nice. It's a nice one. It's fighting a guard. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big small one. Or oh, it's a large mouth. One of the two. Came out with the wheat. Oh, it's a big small one. Come here. Don't get wrapped up in there. I got him. I got him. This is my PB. Came out of that wolf tree. Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's a four. That's a four pounder. Four pounds all day. This fish has never been caught before. Hiding in the trees. This is like small. This is like largey fishing. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I didn't come out here for nothing. That's a four pounder PB. Yes. The lighting is probably bad, but I caught my first fish. It's so I'm so happy. I missed one big one before. I, I, my drags were too tight, and uh, I felt the fish bad, so it popped off. But uh, I finally landed my first fish. It's a new PB for sure. Four pounder probably right here. Yeah, let's see right there. Oh, can't get a good view of him, but he's a big one. He's chunky, football size. Dude. Let's go ahead and weigh him quick. Alright guys, let's see what he is. Oh, he's not that big. He's only 2'8". Oh, way big. He's a lot smaller than I thought. I mean, he's not too long, but he's fat and girthy. Alright guys, see ya. Thank you for the fight. Hardest fighting small you've ever caught. I'll probably get more bites using cube maybe, but that's for another day to try. And he, yeah, okay. Keep happening, dude. It's like one moment I don't pay attention, just slightly, I mess up. Mm. Oh man, that was a uh, tad disappointing. 
It was good because I found a new spot and I caught a very, very decent fish, especially for Manitowoc or Wisconsin in this area. Uh, at this spot, you guys know, I don't know, you guys probably don't know. But uh, yeah, probably don't really want to ruin my spot because uh, people might come fishing here now, but there are already people fishing here out on boats either way. They probably don't go from some sort of park or actual area over there. What I'm surprised about is why there aren't largies. Uh, I'll, I'll come show you guys over here. I saw some bluegills actually. Very blue, big bluegills too. These are like 5 inch bluegills dude. Down right there is like a 6, 7 inch, 5 inch bluegill. I think it's even bigger than my bass at home right now. But man, it was actually a pretty it's an exciting day. I probably lost like a 4 pound smally and I caught like a 3 pounder. It was like 210. It's pretty close to 3 pounds. I would say it considered 3 pounds. But uh, that's going to be a wrap because uh, the wind got too bad. And I guess the water spirits just did not want me to catch fish because uh, one thing after the other, I kept messing up. I kept scaring and spooking all the fish away. The wind was too strong. I had to paddle back and forth, remake, make, remake cast. And whenever I tried skipping, it would not make it. And then whenever I cast it too, it would get caught in the branches, have to go over there, get stuck, have to go over there, get it off, spook the fish. And then... After last part, I randomly I get a knot out of nowhere, but then I was like, oh, whatever, screw it, I'm just gonna keep fishing. But all of a sudden, my knot, my knot's like all tied up on my tip, my rod tip, so I'm kind of screwed. Well, for now, because I won't be able to fish. Because, but uh, well, I'll be going home. Uh, I can tell my brothers about this spot, and if you guys give this video a thumbs up about. Yeah, I say about 10 15 likes. Yeah, I'll go 15 likes. If you guys give this video 15 likes, we'll come back here and fish this uh, river, stretch river again. We we'll actually fish thoroughly this time. We will figure how figure it out how to fish it. I'm mean, already technically did, you know. I'm but in the afternoon they're it's pretty obvious, they're just in the structure and they're in the woods. But uh, some of them were roaming around, I don't know what they were actually, but there's a lot of stuff busting, so I'm sure some top water to work. There's northern in here for sure, at least that's why I know bro, but might be deeper down over that way, but I'm not sure. Upstream was kind of trash, especially by the dam, nothing there. Uh, fished it for a while, fish moving baits and a net rig, didn't catch anything. My net rig didn't work out here at all for some reason. What, what ended up working was just uh, the three, 3 and 3 quarter inch or 3.75 inch uh, Rage tail white swimmer, it's like silver and white with like gray speckles or whatever. Uh, what happened was uh, the way I caught my two fish was uh, I pitched or casted near a stump. My first fish, I, the one I lost my like four pounder I think, it was big but I had drags on it, it was pulling like a really big fish, like almost like a carp. Uh, I thought I had a salmon, no I didn't think I had a salmon on. I thought I had a pike on, like a big pike on, but it turned out to be a smallie. And then, but I didn't see it at all because I couldn't, it was so big I couldn't even force it up or bring it up. And then the three pounder I caught, I flipped it into really thick uh, trees. Uh, and then he came out, nibbled it, and then I set the hook, kind of sweet too. But he choked it, so that's why I caught him. And then he was fighting so hard, fought like a five pound largey. I just ended up netting him without even letting him fight all the way. But uh, yeah. I'm going to definitely tell my brothers about this spot. I'm um, going to come out here again. Uh, maybe I'll, ha I'll post on Facebook and tell my friends or cousins to come fish with me. Help me learn how to fish this spot. Help us uh, catch some big ones. I don't know, but I'm calling it a day for now. Uh, making this a video just because, you know, it'll probably be a short one, maybe 15, 20 minutes. I don't know. We'll see when we're, I'm done editing. But uh, yeah, we'll see you guys out when we're... Nah, I don't know. I don't say too much stuff now. But uh, make sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook at Tower Bros Fishing. And make sure to also hit that subscribe button if you guys like this video. And uh, peace out. Oh uh, yeah guys, I forgot. Uh, also forgot to show you guys. But uh, the spoon or lure I found was actually this one right here. If I can get it on the tank. But, uh, troubles, I tell you man. Troubles. Troubles. Oh, come on. Oh. You know who I learned that from? I learned that from a co-worker. I'm actually not raging right now. I'm just faking it. Just for tell. Hey guys.
So uh, here's the lure I found. Just a red and white spoon. Nothing expensive, nothing new. People are probably just fishing for pike. Uh, I doubt if you cast it out there, you probably didn't catch anything with it, to be honest. I don't know. Just something new. Just something I found. Might as well pick it up and keep it. Yeah, you never know when it might come into use. But uh, yeah.